fans in this audience, as I know, he's been flanked by people asking for selfies, that's right. And that was quite the um, apt introduction with the robots versus humans boxing match. Also being the godfather in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right. Uh, Dr. Hinton, many business leaders in AI are saying that we are going to reach AGI or super intelligence or whatever you want to call AI that vastly outsmarts humans any day now. What do you think? How far away are we? I mean, GPT-5 just came out last week. Do you think that we are getting close and how close are we? Um, GPT-5 looks like it might have been a small backwards step. But, um, <laughs> I think, backwards step, really? Okay. I think um, most experts think sometime between five and 20 years from now. Very few people who are experts in AI think we're not going to get there. Almost everybody thinks we're going to get super intelligence. Who knows what they're talking about? Um, we don't know when. It could be more than 20 years. It could be just a few years. I think a reasonable bet is sometime between five and 20 years. And have your estimates changed at all in the past few years? Um, they've, over the last five or 10 years, they've shrunk, yes. I, I used to say 30, 50 years away. Do you think we need another big breakthrough like we did with Transformers or Reasoning, or do you think we're sort of, it's just a matter of time we have to scale up? Um, I think we probably will get more technical breakthroughs. We'll also get lots of little engineering breakthroughs which will add up to a lot of making it more efficient. Um, just scaling it up is very expensive. Um, it will make it smarter, but it's logarithmic, so you have to sort of double, double the data and double the compute just to get a little bit of progress each time. On the other hand, there's huge amounts of money going into it, so pro 